Hey, what's up? I'm Nick Rollo. Welcome to my channel. I am a producer and mixing engineer. I do specifically pop, indie pop, that kind of stuff. Occasionally a bit of hip hop here and there, but mostly pop. I am going to show you something that has saved me countless hours. It is a little Studio One Impact XT trick. Impact XT. I never call it Impact XT. I just call it Impact. Impact is Studio One's drum processor sampler um it's really good it's really low cpu it's just easy to use it does the trick however when you start with it if you're dragging in samples it can be a bit of a headache for reasons i'll show you in a second honestly implement this it's so good yeah please do it i have strayed away from doing videos specifically about studio one because I guess I just feel like there's not that many people using it, but there is, there's so many people that use it. I love Studio One, I'm a big advocate for it. Um, if you wanna see more specific Studio One videos, please comment below and let me know because it'll really encourage me to actually do that. But yeah, I, I feel like it'd be cool to foster a kind of producer community around Studio One because it's so good, it's so easy to use. Comment below, also comment, I guess, with that comment. Do you wanna see producer content, mixing content? um both artist content i don't know exactly what that would be inside a studio on how to arrange and stuff like that not entirely sure but yeah comment below any feedback any recommendations all of that goes such a long way to help me out so yeah please do that all right like and subscribe if you find this helpful let's jump in okay when you load impact into the session it'll look like this typically maybe the color is different how do i change the color yeah like that <laughs> it'll typically look like this you know, you drag your drums onto it. Let's use L Dre's lo-fi stuff because I do a lot of lo-fi work. I do a lot of lo-fi work for my own lo-fi project. I don't do this for other people to clarify in case that needed to be clarified. Anyway, we got a snare, a kick and a hi-hat. They're all on channel one, Ugh, annoying, which means when I hit this, it all comes out on channel one. So that's gonna mean once I have however many drum samples that I use, typically eight is like the most that I would be using. I don't know why, it's just maybe it's a self-imposed restraint, but it means I have to go in and go like this. It's not great if I'm trying to be fast and get an idea down quickly. I know it's not a massive issue, but the thing is these kind of movements, when you have to do this for the drums and then the bass and then every aspect of production and mixing, you have steps like this that just take a bit of time. Removing these gives you so much more time and it also, more importantly, it means that you don't have to think about it. You just jump in and do the thing. So what I propose we do, let's clear the bank and you've just brought in impact. It looks like this. Go through and click these. Three, four. So just to, um, in case you're unfamiliar with it. This is channel one, this is channel two, this is channel three, this is channel four. Um, I personally go up to eight, as I said, that's just what I typically use. You could probably go up to four if you're just using, say two hi-hats, a kick and a snare, or a kick, snare, hi-hat, and a clap, anything like that. It, it doesn't really matter, whatever works for you, but route them out. Um, what this will actually look like, let's do it for impact nine, so yeah, you can actually see what the routing is there. Let's do this for impact nine. So if I click nine here, it suddenly gets added to this. Um, I don't actually want this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, it'll look like this. Go up here, store as default preset, bam. And then what happened, I already have it, so I don't need to do it again. What happens is, when you drag it in, it's already programmed. These are already routed. You just need to drag in drums and you can go. Please do it, it's so good. It took me such a long time to figure out, but oh my God, it saved so much time. If you found this helpful, <laughs> like and subscribe and comment below. Catch you later, goodbye.